All right, guys. Welcome back to Rhino Gaming. I'm Ryan, and uh, got another episode with another big build. Uh, mission we got today is <laughs> pretty much one I didn't do because if you've played this map or this uh, mission yet, you know it's it takes crazy long. Like you gotta craft a fabricator, the craft a radar, and craft an extractor. So you need to craft a processor. And I didn't realize I had to do all that until like midway through building this build. So <laughs> I realized I was, I was going to run out of time anyways. And as you can tell, I got about 22 hours left of this mission before I have to get back to the uh, the uh, ship. Because you know, if you don't make it to the ship, you die and lose everything. And as you can tell, I am at level 99. So we don't want to lose all that, right? <laughs> so... <laughs> What I decided to do was just finish up this build. I was super excited about this one. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I wanted to get a nice... Uh, I haven't got a, a waterfall uh, scene, scenery build yet. And, you know, I was coming across to do this mission. I was looking for a nice spot to set up my big build. And I came across this waterfall. And I was just hooked. So, again, like always, enjoy it. Hit the like button. Please subscribe, and that's a wolf. Yeet. Oh, yeet. Ah, it's too dark, I can't see. Fuck off. Ah! Great. First try. You all saw that. <laughs> okay, so... Won't hold you too much longer. Let's get into it. So I'm starting at night time, so you can get the full view, like, uh, at night, seeing how the lights work, and, uh, all that stuff, so... Here we go. I'll just kind of show you where we're at. We're at the bottom of K-12. That's where the waterfall is. K-12. It's a great spot, because you're pretty much, if you're op doing open world, pretty close to uh, the Arctic. Pretty close to the uh, the desert biome. Can't go wrong. Get a lot of stuff. Okay, here we go. So you'll be able to see all this stuff at uh, during the day. I um, want to throw in a big garden over here, because just where the, where the house is at, I just thought it would be nice, so you'll see all that stuff at uh, during the day. Okay, I know y'all didn't come here for the garden, so. So as you can see, coming from the waterfall, I want to build on top of the river. I love how it just kind of flows through the whole build. So I just wanted to create like a bridge, make a nice little bridge to go across the river. Again, see my other builds. I build everything to a realistic uh, look, as far as if you know someone actually lived here. Gotta love the planet, right? Or whatever it is. Okay. So again, like always, we know that I build my uh, generator away from, you know, a good distance away from everything, so you're not hearing it while you're playing or doing whatever. Okay, if you can hear it, it's pretty loud. But yeah, got a little generator house going. Gotta have the stone, little stone yard. I'm trying to get better at moving a mouse slower. <laughs> All right, so this building here, this is a, uh, this is the workshop. I wanted to build a big, nice, uh, big workshop. One of my ideas for this one is kind of like doing like a little resort, resort style. Uh, so it's really open, a lot of breezeways. I kept the wooden, a lot of wood structures. You know, usually uh, I like to do stone, so you're not constantly have to worry about repairing. But I wanted to keep the little tropical look, and uh, so I kept a lot of the wood. Tried to add a lot of plants, you know, like keep the tropical look. Try to get the closest thing I can get to, like uh, uh, palm trees. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's the way my mind works. So you're going to see a lot of these palm trees are 
or tea leaves, I guess in the games, around the area to give it a nice little tropical look, tropical vibe. Okay, so we're going in. Again, this is the nighttime look, so we get the lights going. Nice big open look to this one. I always love the loft style of buildings. Kept a nice little simple down here at the bottom. What I do like about this location I'm at, it's pretty much right next to a mountain. So what I did was I kind of used the natural mountain area and all the rocks to kind of, I don't know, use as like a more realistic look to where, you know, if you, obviously this is the, the, the mason, masonry workbench where you do all the rock structures and stone structures. You know, I decided to put it like right on the mountainside to kind of look like, you know, I'm using this mountainside <clears throat> as my resources or something. I don't know. Pretty simple on the bottom. And we're using the rails, using the half walls, provides depth in the look. It's not just a giant box, giant square, and then everything just sitting on the side. Nah, we don't do it. I love the look. All right, let's go upstairs. Okay. So up here, I was kind of thinking like doing like a, I don't know, an executive style level floor. So obviously, you know, we got everything down there. The, uh, the, um, shit, I can't remember the names of these things. I play this game so much, I do not remember it. Machining bench, you know, you got all this stuff down here. And then up there, it's more of like, you know, the box level or something. So I got a nice little, nice little look. Kind of sophisticated look. Again, we're using the rocks. That's part of the mountain. Let's give a good little look. And then throw in a little fireplace in there. And obviously we got the fabricator. You know, it's the top level fab, you know, thing for the tech four. Uh, tier four. So, I don't know, I kind of saw it as like, this is, have it, it's on a little floor, you know. I had to throw the bear in there because, you know, the bear's the boss, right? <laughs> I don't know. I just love the open look to it. Again, we have the uh, the glass walls, which really makes it look nice. And then again, the lights. So yeah. Oh, of course, the storm's coming. Yeah, severe winds. Why not? Let's just blow my buildings to shit while I'm doing a recording. That works. Oh well, so, sorry about the noise, um, still working on trying to figure out how to loop videos or do clips, but, ah, what do you gotta do? So again, with the building, got the light a little brighter outside right now because of the storm, so you can kind of see the overall structure of how it's looking at the waterfall. Oh, I love it. I love it. Alright. We got a nice little walkway coming up here, these steps. Always love a good view of my build, so I try to do it to where, no matter where you're at, you have a good view. Get a lot of openness, a lot of openness to it. Really? Alright, stand by. Poor wolf. Oof. This is sick, like when you get like right in the eye and stuff. Man. It's just, ugh. Okay, I guess we're down here. We've got three uh, or two walkways, or three, I guess, entrances to this building. One right here, one over there, and then where we originally came across the river. So we'll just uh, go up this way. Again, trace a lot of plants. Tropical looking. Love the deck. And again, with the, if you're using the generator to do lights, try to keep your wiring pretty much invisible. 
like I got it along the side here on in the, on the inside to where it's pretty much out of sight out of mind I like to look and make it look clean you know all right uh, you know what let's go start in the front door <laughs> oh god he's the bridge right what up fellas I don't know if y'all noticed, for whatever reason, when you build structures, it will like, I don't know, glitch the animals in them and make them want to keep jumping on it for some reason. I had like seven animals over here at one time. That's crazy. Oh, there's another one. Oh. Right. Okay. Get a little garden. All right, so we got this entrance way here. So this is where I started off. When I first started this build, none of this was here. And I just started my build with building a little, I don't know, a little awning, whatever you want to call it. And then as I went, you know, I just, yes, this looked nice. Add rails, because you know, I didn't want to fall over. Stairs to go up. This little front porch patio thing it looks nicer obviously when it's sunny outside so and I feel like restarting the recording so hopefully when it goes away it'll be sunny it's to be the next day tomorrow so it should be good all right so we got the front of the building Coming to the front porch and then into the front door. And here we go. You know what? Let me. I'm gonna turn off a lot of the, a lot of the lights first. Sorry, I should have thought this one through. The more lights and you know torches you have on, the more your game is gonna start to lag, especially if you're running low or high graphics. Again, just as a reminder, all my graphics are set on uh, on Epic. Lagging a little bit. Oh no. Let's go inside. Alrighty. Welcome to the house. That is the one shitty thing about the glass. <laughs> it's all easily breakable, and if you don't, you know, get to it pretty quick, it's gone. I'm telling you, like a storm like always has to happen before the times. Okay, I'll explain what this is. So, outside of the shop, I started doing a walkway and like a stairs to kind of get to this top area up here. To have like kind of like a little uh, nice view of the waterfall itself. But I started running out of time. Uh, I wasn't able to be on as, as, uh, as much as I, I'd like. So, kind of had to get done the main house and all the little buildings. So... I thought it'd be nice to have like a little walkway and yeah, yeah, you get it. Alrighty, the storm's gone, so I guess we're getting back our frames. Nice. Okay. So I 
That's the main house. Alrighty. So we got our little uh, trophy work area. Yeah, I was able to get to the snow area and pull myself some snow leopards. They look sick. <laughs> I'm a crafting area. And again, I have a cupboard at the at the front, always at the ready. Alright, I'm gonna show you the bedroom before we get to the kitchen. Alright. So they've added more animals to the trophies. Hopefully they keep adding more. We'd we'll love a nice wolf head to put somewhere or like a, like a full body trophy. That'd be awesome. Alrighty. Let's so view from the second floor. Alrighty, welcome to my bedroom. This is where the, uh, the fun don't stop. Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> All right. So with lack of decorations, you can always create decoration-esque stuff, like adding, uh, obviously the trophies and stuff, using like the railings and different structure builds you can have. You know, throwing pillars in random places. Utilizing the, the flowers and the crop plots. The foliage. Went ahead and pulled two of the snow leopard heads. <laughs> the old classic deer head right in the front. Middle. Let's not put the herbalism bench up here. Yeah. Love a good uh, glass wall look. Always nice to wake up and get a nice view. Alrighty. So this is the bedroom. Hopefully they add like, I don't know, like rugs. Like say you, you can skin a leopard and have like a leopard rug or something. Or a bear rug. If, uh, <laughs> developers, if you're watching this, do it. Please. I don't know, like rugs you can put on the floor, maybe like skin tarps you can put on the wall. I don't know. I mean, kind of like this, but like, you know, in a leopard skin or a, a bear's, you know, fur or something. I don't know. Look at the light just comes in with the glass. I'm telling you guys to use glass if you have the time to do it. it just makes everything awesome. Although the sun just comes right in. Like how all around the house, the light just coming through. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna turn you off. So again, like it's really open, try to give it a good tropical vibe, a lot of open. Don't even have a door here. You know, just this little breezeway, come right outside. And obviously this is the look of it during the day. They broke my building. Come on, man. <laughs> Look at this view, though, right? Can't beat it. Alrighty. Let's go into the kitchen. Decided to get a big open kitchen this time. And again, the crop plots inside. 
Love how it makes them look. Using a uh, medium winterier crate as like a little island place. Gotta love the kitchen setup. Idea of the view now. The bright sun shining down. Look at that. Woo. Look at this view. Tell when you find that spot to make your big build, man. Makes it all worth it, you know? Okay. Okay, we saw the bedroom, main living room, we saw the kitchen. We saw the bridge. We saw a little little garden. Saw the main workshop building. All righty. Love a good street light, right? Plant post. <laughs> we love a nice, beautiful bridge. There was a lot of trees here. I tried to build the structure around the trees. Like there was trees all up down this and everything. I tried to make it as tropical as I could, but. You know, the more you stick around a place, the more storms are going to happen, and they just knocked all the trees over. So, I don't know if you can see, a lot of burnt, a lot of burnt trees everywhere. Those lightning strikes, man, starting forest fires. Only you can prevent forest fires. Anybody remember that? <laughs> uh, one of the benefits about building builds on you know high up structures like sitting on posts or pillars whatever you want to call it you can use the uh, really hide away all your cables underneath definitely one of the benefits so if you want a nice clean build things that make it easy is building structures up because so everything sits underneath to where you can only really see it if you're having a cable in hand so if you take it away Pretty much invisible. Can't really see it. But anyhow, I don't want to keep you all too long. Just hope you all enjoyed the build. Let me know what you think. Think what I could have done better with some good ideas. You know, again, hit me a like. Always appreciate it. Alrighty. Thanks for stopping by. Until next time, we'll see you in the next build. All right. Now this is where I awkwardly uh, stopped the recording. And <laughs> so, all right, we'll see you in the next one.